Hey guys, this is Henry again from Obedia. Today we're going to start our new Pro Tools series in which we're going to be talking about edit modes. So, edit modes. First of all, where can you select your edit modes? Where are they located? Very easy. Top left of your edit window. Okay, top left corner, edit window. Here you have your four edit modes. So, before we dive into each one of those, let's go ahead and talk about edit modes in general. Okay, you got four modes, slip, grid, spot, and shuffle. These four modes uh, control the way you can um, add clips into your session, the way you trim um, your clips, okay? The way you create your fades, your cross fades. Um, they also control the way you can slice your clips. So pretty much the way you edit uh, it's controlled by these edit modes okay on this tutorial we're going to be talking about the first edit mode which is one of the most uh, common modes it's called slip mode so in slip mode um, you edit as a let's say a free floating fashion okay free floating because you can edit basically anywhere within the clip when you select a part of the clip like you click and then drag you can select any part of the clip it's literally free floating. You can just click, drag, and just drop the mouse wherever you want, and that's selected. That's for selecting highlighting. Now, when you're trimming, you can also trim anywhere. You can simply click and drag, and you can trim that clip anywhere um, that you want. Uh, think about it this way. You got some grid lines here, right? You got this grid line here, and then this grid line here. You got a grid uh, set to quarter note. And even though it's set to quarter note, if I want, I can trim and leave it in between those two grid marks. You're not constrained to those grid marks. Same thing when you're slicing. If I want to slice on a grid mark, that's fine. I can do it, but I can also slice in between if I want. You can literally place your cursor anywhere you want and then boom, slice. Now I got two clips. Okay. Um, if you're doing, let's say, a fade in. You can click and create your fade in, and you can end it anywhere you want. As you can see here, this fade in ends kind of like in between those two grid marks. It's not on top of the grid mark, it's in between. If I want to do it on top, I can, but um, it's actually free for all, and you can do it anywhere. Um, if you're going to do a cross fade, you got two clips like here. Uh, clip on the left, clip on the right, and I want to do a cross fade, I can simply click and sorry, um, click and then drag that to create a crossfade and I can literally end the crossfade anywhere. I can also click and drag that crossfade to place it anywhere I want. It's free floating, as I said before. Um, so slip mode, since you're working in free floating quote unquote uh, mode, it's actually called slip mode, but I'm just saying free floating because it works as if it was free floating. Um, if you, let's say you're doing something very surgical, like for example, you know, I don't like this transient here, right? Just this transient. You can literally zoom in there and then find that transient like here and then click, drag, and then delete if I want. Why? Because I can place that cursor anywhere I want with my mouse. On other modes, you wouldn't be able to do this because they would be constrained to some other references but in slip mode uh, you're free floating so once again if you're doing like very surgical work um, you know compiling vocals and things like that maybe you're trying to get rid of noises and things like like this right there's some noise here I could literally click drag and then delete if I want it uh, that's when you would be using slip mode so that's slip mode in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon for the next tutorials on um, edit modes. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using 
All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.